everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and if you peruse Amazon, you probably see a lot of these generic keyboard cases out there. This is one for the iPad Air called the Blue Rex, and they sent this to the show to take a look at. Now, I don't know if it's uh, called the Blue Rex or the Air Key, because that's what the instruction book says, or uh, the WitzPad portfolio, it says on the back here. So I think uh, this might be something being offered by a number of different manufacturers. In many ways, it mimics the uh, ultimate keyboard case from Belkin in that um, it looks a lot similar and it actually functions similar in that when you uh, take your iPad out, there's a invisible magnetic uh, thing you have to lock into to power the keyboard up. And I kind of like that feature on the Belkin. This one works very similar to that as well. And then you can start typing. Now, when I first got it out, the space bar didn't work and then it started working again. So I'm not sure why that is, um, but it does have a cool feature. You can change the, most of the time, uh, change the color of the backlighting here. So it's a backlit keyboard, which is kind of cool. Um, but there are some quality issues. It's, you can see on the front here, um, it came with a huge gouge on it right before uh, right when I took it out of the box, it was plainly visible. So they didn't really uh, do too well inspecting it. It's also sometimes hard to lock it into its uh, position here. But uh, typing wise, it isn't bad. It's chiclet style keys. So they're a little bit smaller than uh, the keyboard on the Belkin, which I really, really liked. And I also don't like the fact that the shift key is so small here on the right. I mean, why they do this on keyboard cases is beyond me. Um, the other thing to note is that it really kind of smelled when I took it out of the box, like plasticky kind of fumes kind of smell. And the keys were rather sticky. So I think I'm going to wash my hands after you using this. Um, but you know, beyond that, it's a, it's a less expensive keyboard case that's similar uh, to the Ultimate keyboard case. Not nearly as good, uh, but it's also $40 versus the, key, the Ultimate case's uh, $100 price tag. So it's adequate. You know, it certainly will work for you. I don't know if it's worth the $40 price tag given the quality control issues uh, and some of the keyboard arrangements here, but I've used worse than this. Uh, so I don't know if that says a lot, but I think it's uh, certainly a middle of the road keyboard that uh, will probably get the job done for you if you don't want to spend more uh, to get a higher quality product from Belkin or Logitech. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.